wonderful day. Speaking of wonderful, we need a wonderful lunch to start off this wonderful day. Today we're having breaded chicken sandwich or baked ziti with the sides of garlic wheat rolled California blend or green beans. And for fruit we're having seasonal fruit or fruit juice. Now back with the rest of the announcements. I've heard we had some wet weather. Tell us about it, Hannah. Well, Sean, you're right. Today is going to be stormy, 80s. Hopefully soon the weather will clear up. I heard the Cowboys had a practice game. How'd it go? The Rangers beat the Angels 7-5 last night. Hopefully we can beat them again tonight. And the Cowboys don't play till Saturday. Hopefully they can win and have a great series. Now back to the rest of the announcements. Please join us in the Pledge to the American Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join us in the pledge to the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. Now for the moment of silence. Good morning, everyone. It's so good to see you. I want to thank you for a fantastic start to the year. I'm so proud of all of the hard work that you've done. And I want to remind you a little bit of what we're going to expect in the hallway and what we're going to expect in the classroom. You've heard a little bit about this. If you've been around this school, then you remember this from last year. But if you're new to Corey, I want you to know what we do in the hallways. So I have Brody here to help me. And Brody has got our wave sign. So you've probably seen this in your classroom. You might have seen this in the hallway somewhere. And wave is what defines our expectation in the hallway. So remember that you're going to walk on the right, that's the W. You're going to have your arms by your side, manos alados. You might also put your hands behind your back if your teacher asks you to do that, manos atras. So either way is okay, but make sure that your hands are down by your side or behind your back. The idea is you're not tempted to touch anybody else or touch anything that might be in the hallway. We want to have our voices off because in the hallway we want to be respectful that other classes are learning and you're on your way to something really important, but we don't want to interrupt other students. And finally, your eyes are going to be forward. If you do all four of those things, then that's what WAVE looks like. And if you want to add an S to it and make it WAVES and make sure you have a smile on, that would be just fine too. So this is what it looks like when we're in the hallway. When we are in the classroom, we want to make sure, thank you Brody, we want to make sure that we are doing slant. And I have this slant poster today, you'll see that this one's in Spanish. But the S, remember, is that you're going to sit up. So when you're in class and you're being a good student, I want you to sit up nice and tall. Try that right now. You also want to be a good listener. And being a good listener is a really important skill. It's not just that you're not talking, but it's that you've actually got your ears turned into who's talking. That's a really different thing than just not moving your mouth. A is for ask good questions. So if your teacher is teaching about what's, what's happening in science and you're talking about mass or you're talking about density or you're talking about the planet and rotation revolution, your question should not be, uh, what's for lunch? That's not a good question, right? You want to ask a good question. So think about what that would mean in each class. N is nod that you understand. So you're going to nod that you understand. If you don't understand, you can do that. That's okay. It tells your teacher that you need more information. And finally, T is for track the speaker. A lot of times the teacher is the speaker, but not always. Sometimes one of your friends in class might be the speaker, and we want to give them respect when they're talking. So we're going to try slant right now because it's not just that we're, we understand it, but we have to be able to do it. So I want everybody to slouch down in their chair, kind of make your body lazy, and kind of whisper a little bit to your friend. And when I say slant, I want you to give all your attention to your teacher. Are you ready? Here we go. Slant. And your body immediately comes up. You sit tall. You're quiet. Your eyes are on your teacher. How'd you do? Let's try it one more time and see if we can make it a little better. Okay, everybody relax. Okay, whisper to your friends. Slant. 
All right, did your body get tall? Did you look at your teacher immediately? Did it get quiet immediately? That's what slant looks like, and we want to work on that so that we make it as clean and as good as we can. You're going to do great. You're already off to a fantastic start. When I come by, I want to see slant. I want to see wave, and I believe in you, and you're going to be awesome. Have a great day, everybody. Be in the right place at the right time with the right attitude. Have a